New eye drops just approved by the FDA could limit the need for reading glasses. That's because the drops help muscles in the eye focus better. ABC 7 News reporter Brian Curry talked to an ophthalmologist about how this could change the future of eye medicine. The usage of reading glasses could be a thing of the past. New prescription-based Viewity uses eye drops to help treat presbyopia, which is age-related blurry vision. If we live long enough, our eyes are going to age. Uh, they're not going to be like they used to be. Levester Law is currently writing a book. He says he often spends hours reading or staring at a computer screen. After I read too much or write too long, uh, I, I have to just close my eyes and, and relax. Ophthalmologist Ella Faktorovich with Pacific Vision says the drops work with the focusing mechanism in our eyes. She says the drops make the pupil smaller and thus increase the range which the eye can see. Uh, you can see computer, you can see the phone, so you can really improve the range of vision. I think it's huge. She says many pharmaceutical companies have been working on this technology for years, and Viewity is the first to be FDA approved. Patients will need to consult with an eye doctor to get it prescribed, but Fiktorovich says the drops are already popular. This morning, I have written a prescription to all my family members who are 40 plus because the glasses for reading very annoying. Julie Schallhorn with UCSF says the tools for treating eye conditions have continued to get better. She says a breakthrough like these drops can pave the way for a bright future for eye treatment. The data that we have that shows that it really, really works and the, the, the patient reported outcomes with it are extremely favorable. Leaving people like Law hoping they won't have to use their glasses as often. Well, the idea that I would be able to read and write longer and not have that downtime afterwards, uh, you know, it just gives you back uh, a little bit more of your life. Ryan Curry, ABC 7 News.